Going back with Billy. Oh, man. All the way through that again, though. Poor Billy. They made him look so bad. He was actually a pretty good martial artist, and they definitely disrespected him a bit here. And by a bit, I mean a lot. This is a very disrespectful version of Billy here. Very disrespectful. All right, if I could have taken two hits, I probably would have won that fight. So that boss fight with a bomb would be very doable. Uh, and it took about nine minutes to get through it the first time. So this is definitely going to be the longest one we have. Come on. Struggling. Food. Food. Oh my goodness. Why is everybody so strong? Oh, 90s Nintendo game. Got it. Gotta rent this game six times. But dad, I've almost finished it. See, I didn't rent this one. I owned this one. My dad was very adamant that um, the way I played my games and stuff, he was like, no, you need to have this game so I don't have to go rent it every week. And he was right. He was right. But yeah, I don't believe I ever beat this one. Even though I had it for so long and I played it all the freaking time, but I mean, it was, it was 90s games were difficult. You saw I'm already struggling again and I'm an adult now. I right, met our morph without losing all of our health. Triceratops. I definitely like his. I definitely like his like combo attack the best. The um with the lance. I feel like that's the best damaging move we have. It may be lower damage per hit on the first attack, but I feel like the spin is the best damage we're doing. It's over. I have the low ground. Wait, that's wrong. Except in this circumstance, seems pretty accurate. I don't know. The guy that has the low grounds getting lower grounds getting whooped too. It's over. I'm a Power Ranger. I don't know if it's because I've already played through this set once or not, but I definitely feel like I'm doing better. It's just because it's Billy. I know I talked about it in the first episode, but it was just so nice having someone like Billy as a kid. A nerdy character. We all took a hit off that one. But yeah, it was just very nice having a nerdy character to relate to. And a nerdy one that, again, he was not ostracized by his friends or anything, which is a common theme in um, 80s and 90s TV, was to make fun of the nerdy kid. But they all, like, respected him and, like, 
If he told them he had a plan, they're like, hey, we, we believe in you. We trust you. What do you need us to do? And that was refreshing in that age. Another reason I say Power Rangers is timeless is because now, you know, nerd culture is way more approved of now than it was when I was growing up. And it's nice to see that stuff like this was so far ahead of its time. But Power Rangers was just, I mean, it, it hit at the right time. You know, that's how a lot of stuff in the 90s hit. Everything just hit at the right time. And that's hard to find, especially now. Okay, this room was a little difficult. And then we have to do the climbing section on this one, or was that the last one? I'm taking a lot of hits from these guys. Get out of here, man. If you hold up on the D-pad and attack, that's how that's done. So on this, pretty nice. That's pretty useful. You only take one hit, you take multiple. Oh my gosh! Last time I just destroyed those without thinking. Oh my goodness. That's one, that's one down already. Two. No. Okay. Whew. One, one, two, two, three, three. Wonderful. We can't destroy that. One, one, back here. I was three on this one, two, and then actually three. All right, we're fine. One to take these guys out. Yeah, that might be more useful. Okay. This is that room. Sorry, I remember I don't have to jump up there all the time. I didn't mean to stand up. I was hoping to find a health pot down here, but really, I still have to duck here. I thought that would be deep enough. All right, that's good to know. That's not deep enough. I didn't even hear the alarm.
That was bad. Okay. I don't think it counts this as a new section, though. Not yet. Yeah, we have to... We still have to survive this. All right. I don't know if there are, how many enemies are over there, but we're just gonna we're just gonna do that. All right. Hopefully this counts as a new section. So even if we go down, we're still good. But now we know a little bit more. So he's gonna jump to drop a bomb, and we're gonna. We're not going to combo them well off that. We need to remember that's not a good combo. Yes, I figured out where I want him every time. Oh, he finally got me with that. It's like playing Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter with someone. It's like playing fighting games with someone and you just keep jumping back and forth until someone finally decides to try a new combo. We want him to break out the other weapon. my Nova. Yep, so I have to do it without the Nova this time. But we get full health. That's a good trade-off. I should have just waited. I shouldn't have used it when I had low health. I should have known that was coming. Oh, he got me. That was good. It's funny, I'm playing a lot more uh, aggressive now that I have some health. I need to play it safe because we almost had him multiple times playing safe. But I also know that this recording is getting real long and I'm already back down to my last life. And I would uh, hate to have to turn this into a separate recording. Everyone's gonna look at the timestamp of this one and be like, what happened? I probably will have to make this two attempts because I'm trying to keep these videos shorter. I guess the big thing is when he switches weapons, I just need to get out of the way. Because I really don't know what he's going to be doing with them. And it looked like he had a pretty good combo with the one he had. It reminds me a lot of my Trident Spin. Nice of them to, like, let me know that's the weapon that's coming, though, instead of springing it on me all of a sudden.
He's got to be getting close, right? We want him to get out of here with that, because that weapon is actually way more dangerous. We like the sword. Come on. I do not know how many stages this is, so I can't even tell y'all how long this series is going to be. I, I've never beaten this, so I don't know how long it's going to be. Oh! Oh! Boom! Alright. So, actually, I thought that was episode 5, but that is the end of episode 6, because I decided I'm going to split them. So, <laughs> if you need the area clear, if you just want to play certain levels, they're always on the screen. That's going to wrap up episode 6, and we're going to continue on. I'll see you guys on the next one. Remember to take care of yourself, take care of your friends, and be better. See you guys.